Hello viewers, welcome to Ask Me In. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to create a timetable in Excel. It's going to be a very short video. I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate this in Office 365. If you do have a different version of Excel, do not worry, it, it is going to work in the same way in all kind of versions. Okay, even if you have 97, if you have 2016 or maybe any other version, it's the same logic. Okay, so I've created a blank workbook and let's get started. So the first step I would be doing is I need to create the days, right? So Monday, Tuesday, once you have entered two days, you can just go ahead and drag and drop this where you will Excel will auto fill the other days. Okay. So let's say I'm not going to have a class on Sunday. I'm going to delete this particular row. And if it applies for Saturday also, you can go and delete this. Otherwise leave as it is. Okay. So once I have done the weeks or the days uh, for that particular week, then next step would be to add the time slots. Okay. So let's say each period or each class is going to be a one hour and I'm going to start the class from 8.30 a.m. every day. So I'll make it as 8.30 a.m. So since it's one hour, it is going to be 8.30 to 9.30. So similarly, go ahead and create all the other classes or all the other time slots that you would require. So 9.30 to 10.30 will be the second class. After that, let's say I need a 30 minutes tea break. So I'll just make this as a break session. So once the break session is done, so it's 30 minutes of break. So I'll start from 11 a.m. the next class. So 11 a.m. till it goes to 12 p.m. Right. So this would be the third class. After that, the fourth class is going to be from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, so 1 p.m. is the standard lunch time, let's say, and then I'm going to have a 60 minutes break in between 1 to 2. Okay, so I'll just add the break session here. Once the break has been done, I'll further continue two more sessions. Okay, so the two more session is from 2 to 3 and then 3 to 4. So for that, I'm going to make it 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. And similarly, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. You can very well go ahead and extend it 5 to 6 or 7 based on the classes or the needs that you have, but I'm going to stop it at 4 p.m. Okay, so I'll call this as days and this will be the time slots. So once I've done this, uh, I'll convert the whole thing into a table format. There is a very good tool in the Excel where you can click on format table and then apply the table selection. Since uh, my table even consists of the headers, so I'll select this particular checkbox which says my table has headers and I'll click OK. Now you can see uh, it has created a very fancy table for us where I can even do the sorting and other things. Okay, so once I've done this, uh, let me do one more thing. I'll call this as periods for grade 2. Okay make this as bold, apply some color. So this looks better. So to enter the subjects, there are two options. Okay, one I can manually fill over here. Let's say um, maths, physics, etc. Right, uh, which I'm not going to do that. It is a manual one and it is prone to errors. So instead, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll have a different uh, row and columns where I'll call this a subjects and I'm going to declare all my subjects here in different rows. Let's say max physics, chemistry, bio, social studies, English, drawing, etc. So whatever the subjects are there, uh, do mention it over here and make this as bold. So select all these things and again click on format as table. And similarly what we did for this, select as my table as header since it has a subject and click on OK. Now it has created a table for you for this particular thing, right? So once that has been done, select all the subjects. Okay, do not select the subjects. Uh, do not select the header but do select all the subject names that has been there in the row 
okay and you can say it belongs to table 2 so in the name box instead of table 2 name this as subjects okay now what i can probably do here is i'll come and click on the cells from 8 30 to 9 am and then i'll click on data i'll click on data validation and in the allow list or in the validation criteria select a list in the source type equals to and then give subjects so subjects is what i have named it in the table name or in the name box okay now the same name you have to give in the source and then click on ok so the moment you do you can see that it has converted to drop down right or it has converted you will get this fancy drop down over here where you can select anything you want so same thing i need to apply for all the cells so i am going to copy this drop down and i'll paste it similarly over here and over here now everything has become a drop down so first thing i'll let's say i'm going to select maths physics after that it is chemistry let's say after it's bio social studies and finally maybe a drawing right and here i'll call it as tea break and this is going to be lunch break right <clears throat> so another thing i can do probably here is uh, i'll select all the rows and increase the height of this and similarly i can select all the columns and then just double click on this so that it arranges properly so tea break is going to be a common for all the seven days similarly lunch break also is going to be common for all the days right so tuesday let's say you want to have a different class you want to start with english you just have to select over here let's say english drawing then i'll have a maths then i'll have a physics then maybe like social studies post that uh, i might have a bio right so and then if i want to repeat it i can just repeat the same thing over here right so it's going to be so simple and i have created my timetable now let's say you want to change it for grade 3 you can just copy the same table and paste it maybe in another page and the same thing is going to work for you all you need to do is you just have to change the drop down values over here according to the grade 3 needs that's it okay i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed the video please click on like and do subscribe for the channel please do not forget thank you have a nice day